Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Have you ever stepped into a new role and thought, where do I even begin? Well, that was me when I became an academic integrity officer in my current department at the university. One of my first priorities was to try to understand how generative AI was impacting academic integrity and what recent research was saying about this topic. To bring me up to date, I used Copilot as a super smart colleague. Now, even if you're not in academia, the techniques I'm going to share can be applied to any new role where you need to learn quickly, make sense of complex topics, turn research into action and work productively whilst also ensuring your well-being. So in this video, I'll walk you through how I constructed prompts to, amongst other things, undertake targeted research on Gen AI and academic integrity, summarise key findings and best practices, create a briefing document for stakeholders, and build a clear to-do list to guide my next steps. So, let's jump right in. I'm going to use Microsoft Edge to access Copilot. To do this, I'm going to go to copilot.microsoft.com. Once I hit return, you should see this page. If this page doesn't appear to you, you may have to log in. Look for a login button and enter your credentials and you'll be redirected to this page. On this page, you can see two experiences. The personal experience, as it says, is a helpful AI companion for your everyday life outside of work. And it doesn't offer your organization's data protection. I'm going to use the work experience one. You can see I'm already logged on, so I'm going to click this button and it will load up my Copilot interface in the main chat window. Now it's up to you which experience, personal or work, you want to use, but I'm going to use the work one because I'm undertaking work-related activity. You might ask, well, what are the advantages of doing this? Well, the main one is that I can see the Enterprise Data Protection Shield, which gives me the assurance that I have the data protection available to my organisation. This means that everything I type into Copilot stays within my agency's secure environment. This includes my prompts and the data I enter. It also means that the work I do here is not going to be used to train AI models and is not accessible to Microsoft or others. Its main aim is designed to ensure privacy, compliance and data security for enterprise and academic use. So if you are undertaking work-related activity, I strongly advise that you use your work experience. On this page, you'll also see that there is a new chat button. You would use this if you want to clear the history of a current chat and begin a new conversation with a different topic. You can also collapse and unclapse the sidebar. Your sidebar may look different to mine, but it should contain the following elements. You should have access to your previous conversations, any pages you've created, a button to create documents, presentations, workbooks, etc. And access to your organization's Microsoft 365 apps. For this video, we'll just concentrate on the chat facility, but feel free to explore the other options if you wish. AI tools like Copilot are good at quickly synthesizing information. They can guide us in formulating focused searches and understanding emerging issues. In my case, I'm going to use Copilot to help me explore the latest concerns around academic integrity and generative AI use in higher education. If you're following this video, you can input similar prompts to mine, but you could focus on your own topic of interest. I will begin this process by carefully structuring my prompts. So to begin with, I want to uncover peer-reviewed studies about recent concerns in academic integrity and Gen AI. So my first prompt is going to be, what are the five most recent peer-reviewed research articles discussing concerns about students' use of generative AI in higher education published in the last two years? You can see that this prompt directs Copilot to locate scholarly articles, is not restricted by geography, and focuses specifically on recent concerns linked to Gen AI. I could have put additional context in, such as I'm an academic integrity officer working in a UK university, but at this stage, I want to cast a wider net. I'll then hit the go button and Copilot will start to do its thing. You can see that it has found three articles within the two year time frame and two other papers that appear to be grey literature. They all look relevant, and what's really good is that Copilot has provided direct links to the published papers. Let's have a look at the first one on the list. This one is called Student Voices on Generative AI, Perceptions, Benefits and Challenges in Higher Education. 
This is from the International Journal of Educational Technology and Higher Education. Now, if I chose to, I can read through this and the other papers in my own time. But what I want to learn about in the first few days of taking on my new role is what are the ethical concerns about Gen AI use in higher education? Now, you can see that Copilot has offered to summarise one of the articles or help me explore what are some ethical concerns mentioned. So I'm going to click the what are some ethical concerns mentioned button. And what Copilot then does is it highlights some of the key ethical concerns raised in recent peer reviewed research about student use of Gen AI in higher education. Now, this is helpful for me because what it does is highlight the following issues that I need to be aware of in my new role. And these are academic integrity and over reliance on Gen AI tools, the potential for bias and misinformation, concerns over the erosion of critical thinking privacy and data security, equity and access, and finally, the environmental impact. What I like is that Copilot quickly provides me with an outline of the concerns and the implications related to those concerns. Now, if I click on the reference to that section by clicking on the number two button here, it will take me directly to the article referenced in this section. Later on, my plan would be to put some time aside to read these papers in more detail because that is an important step. But for now, just to get me going in my new role, what I want is just a quick overview. And as you can see, Copilot helps to provide me with this. As a smart colleague, Copilot asks whether it can help me draft guidelines for AI use. As I'm just beginning this role, I am actually interested to see what draft guidelines for AI use would look like. So I'm going to press the button here and then hit start and see what it produces. You can see it provides a section entitled Guidelines for the Use of Generative AI in Higher Education, along with sections on Purpose and Scope, Permitted Uses, Prohibited Uses, Transparency and Attribution, Critical Evaluation, Privacy and Data Protection, equity and accessibility, and finally, environmental awareness. Please do stop and rewind the video to have a look at what's been proposed in more detail if you're interested in this area. From this brief example, you can see that in my new role, not only would using this smart colleague help me start to understand some of the more complex issues related to developing guidelines for AI use, but it would also save me quite a bit of time in terms of researching. It also offers to add my institution's branding because I'm logged in or create a version for my specific course. I'm not going to ask it to do that, but I will open the PDF file. The advantage of doing this is, is that it allows me to download and save this PDF file in a place that's convenient for me so that I can refer to it later. OK, let's move on. In my new role, I'm also interested in finding out about the following topic. I want Copilot to summarise the key findings from recent research on the impact of generative AI tools like ChatGPT on academic misconduct in universities, attach DOIs. In exploring this prompt, you'll see that it allows me to gather insights into scholarly discussions about how Gen AI contributes to issues like misconduct. DOIs will also helpfully provide links to the articles that are found. On this occasion, because Copilot remembered that I only wanted articles from the last two years, it has only found two relevant papers. As requested, it's also provided the DOI for each paper, meaning that I can click on and explore these in more detail. I do like this, but I want to move on and ask, what are some of the best practices from institutions? And the response says that these are to develop clear and consistent AI policies, embed AI ethics and literacy into the curriculum, empower faculty with training and autonomy, design assessments that discourage misuse, ensure equity and accessibility, and finally, foster a culture of integrity and dialogue, which I think is really important in relation to developing best practices in higher education institutions. And again, I can explore these in much more detail by clicking on the links at the end of each suggested part and going directly to the sources referenced. 
All of these activities have now started to give me a real insight and some confidence into what I need to know as an academic integrity officer about the issues related to generative AI use in higher education. But I also want to know more. I want to focus in on some very specific issues. For example, I'm curious and want Copilot too. List the top five concerns expressed in peer-reviewed literature regarding the influence of AI-generated content on academic integrity in the UK or similar higher education contexts. In exploring this prompt, you can see that it's narrowed down to focus to UK contexts or similar ones and present five major emerging concerns discussed in the literature. So based on recent peer-reviewed literature, the top five concerns that Copilot produces are around plagiarism and authorship ambiguity, erosion of critical thinking and learning, inconsistent institutional policies, detection and enforcement challenges, and finally ethical and cultural tensions. Looking at these, I think these are really important things that my colleagues and I should be aware of as I start to engage in my new role. So helpfully, Copilot asks, if I want these concerns turned into a briefing document for academic staff or policymakers. I would like to be able to raise these concerns within my department and have discussions with my colleagues. So I'm going to ask Copilot what should be included in a briefing document. Now what's really useful about this output is the fact that I wouldn't have had to start with a blank page but have a structure and suggested topics for discussion based on the prompts and work I've undertaken with Copilot up to this point. For me personally, I would download this as a Word document to help create a plan that can offer research-based ideas for best practices around this emerging topic. I'm actually quite happy right now with the fact that I have a good number of articles I can read and also more of an idea around what the issues are in relation to academic integrity and Gen AI use. I'm starting to feel more confident about taking on this role. However, having this information is helpful but I want to start thinking about how I can use this to create some actions in my new role. To do this, I would use the following prompt. I am an academic integrity officer at a UK university. Create a to-do list for me to start implementing the suggestions from this research. You can see that this prompt clearly defines my role. It asks for actionable outcomes, a to-do list, making the response practical and implementation focused. By referencing the research in this chat, it grounds the task in evidence-based practice, encouraging thoughtful application. What I like about the output is that there are some clear actionable suggestions. I'll explore the first one, but do feel free to forward, rewind and pause the video to read the rest. In number one, policy review and development, I think it's a really good suggestion to, in my role, audit the existing academic integrity policy and look for AI related gaps. Now I would do this anyway, but I'm grateful for the prompt. I could then put forward suggestions to draft or update institutional guidelines on the acceptable use of AI and look to align these with policies related to the national framework suggested. I would also explore how to provide clear definitions of misconduct involving AI. Using a super smart colleague like Copilot in this way should make beginning this process in my new role a little easier. However, I do want humans in the loop, so I would use these outputs as a first draft to discuss with other colleagues. I do this to ensure that there is a wider engagement and exploration of these issues and to ensure that Copilot has not missed any important areas. So it's all good stuff at the moment, but whilst undertaking this work, I do want to make sure that in my new role, I don't feel too overwhelmed. To do this, I would ask Copilot for some suggestions by posing the following question. How can I productively undertake this work and at the same time ensure my well-being? And Copilot makes some excellent suggestions. To have a look at these, I think well-being is particularly important in any role, but especially important when taking on new responsibilities. I like the suggestions here and the bonus well-being practices are really useful too. I will definitely make a careful note of these and ensure that I put these into practice. So, to recap, stepping into a new role can feel overwhelming, especially when you're 
navigating complex and fast evolving topics like generative AI and academic integrity. But with the right tools and a structured approach, you can turn that uncertainty into clarity and action. By using Copilot, I was able to conduct targeted research on Gen AI and academic integrity, summarize key findings and ethical concerns, draft practical guidelines and briefing documents, build a clear, actionable to-do list, and even prioritize my own well-being while doing it all. These aren't just academic exercises, they're real strategies that help me hit the ground running in my new role. And the best part? You can apply these techniques in your own work, no matter what your field. Now it's your turn. If you're stepping into a new role, tackling a complex issue, or just want to work smarter, Try using Copilot or a similar AI tool to guide your research, structure your thinking, and take meaningful action. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with a colleague. And don't forget to subscribe for more practical insights on using AI in professional settings. You can access my other videos about AI and education by clicking this link here. Let's keep learning, adapting, and leading with integrity together. Please do leave a comment. I would be interested to hear your thoughts about the issues explored. Until next time, bye.